Hi, my name is Catherine Quirk and we are now going to do Lesson 2 of the Business Promoter Web Editor. Today we're going to actually look at how the screen layout will look once you have logged in. You will note here that there's a number of items on the left hand side and across the top there's some basic icons. When you log in, you do not need to know worry about the character set. It's set to the language of your website. The default in this case will be English. But for example, if you wish to modify it in another language, you could actually click the drop down arrow and check another language that you wish to edit in. In most cases, you won't really require to do that. Here you'll see the directory. Sometimes you will find that there will be uh, pages within your website that are not in the main directory or the root directory of your website and you will be directed as to where those pages will be found that you require to be edited. Following that are the files that are within your website. Now in this case all these are active and are editable but you may find that there are some files within this section that you cannot edit and that's quite simply because you do not require to edit them so therefore they are not active. Across the top here you will notice there's some very basic icons. You've got a preview which does exactly that and is extremely important because you must preview your changes before you actually save them just to make sure that the changes you've made do look correct in your website. It is WYSIWYG so that's what you see is what you get and it will actually help you in making that final decision to save. When you save your files they save immediately to your website. There is no waiting and you will find that if you go into your web browser you will find that those updates have already been done. The reload button is important if you're making changes and those changes are not satisfactory and you have not saved them you can reload. You can also use the reload button if you have saved the changes and you just want to reload that page and it reloads it from the website and you continue making changes. Well there's a help button and that's self-explanatory and there's a log out button. Please make sure you log out after you've finished, in, finished your editing. You do not want anybody else editing your website. It will cause you massive dramas. In our next lesson we will look at text changes.